Hi everybody, welcome to Live Blogger. In this video, we will start designing this page right here. So here we can see we have this cube over here on the right and we can move the mouse around to rotate this cube right here. So on each side of this cube, we have some text written. So you can go ahead and add any information you want over here in this cube. So in this video, we will start designing this page right here using HTML, CSS and JavaScript. So let's get started. Right here I have created this folder called 3D cube and I just opened it with VS code. Now let's go ahead and create the necessary files. So let's click on new file and we need to create an HTML file. I just name it index.html and we also need to have a CSS file. I just name it style.css and we also need to have a JavaScript file. Let's name it main.js. Right, let's start with the index.html file. Now in VS Code, you can just press exclamation and press tab and you'll have this basic HTML5 code. And let's link our CSS file over here. So I'll just type link and press tab. And in the HR file, just type style.css. And let's link the JavaScript file over here. So I'll just type script, colon src and press tab. And here I'll just type main.js. Right now, the first thing we will do is we'll create a header tag. And in that we'll create this left division and this right division over here. So for the left division, let's create a division with the class of left. And in that we will have this heading. So for that we'll create an H1. And I'll just type welcome. And then we'll create a paragraph and let's give it a class of subheading. And here I'll just type to the world of amazing designs. So I'll just copy this and paste it over here. And then for the right side, we'll create a division and let's give it a class of cube container. And in that we need to have a division with the class of cube. And in the cube we need to have all these different cube faces. So we need to have a division for the front face, we need to have a division for the back face and all these different faces. So let's go back and let's create a division with the class of cube face. And for the front we will have a text of web design. Now we'll also give it a class of front because this is for the front face. Now there are six faces to our cube so let's duplicate this and let's create five more of these divisions. All right, the next one is for back and then we have left and then we have right and then we have top and then lastly we have bottom. Let's also change the text of all of these. So for the second one let's type app development and for the third one let's type SEO. And then for the fourth one, let's type WordPress. And here let's type Blogger. And then lastly, let's add one more thing. Let's type WooCommerce. Right now, let's open this in our browser and let's see how it looks right now. So I have this extension called Live Server installed in VS Code. So once you install this extension, you can just right click over here in the HTML and click on Open with Live Server. And here we can see that our design is displayed in the browser. Right now we don't have any styles so let's go ahead and style it using CSS. Let's go back to our source code and here we have already linked our CSS file. So let's go to a styler CSS file and uh, let's start by styling the body and we'll set the margin to 0 and we'll set the padding to 0 as well and let's set the height of the body to 100 viewport height which is 100% of the browser window and let's set the font family to poppins and sans serif and let's add a background color of black so this is how it looks right now right now let's style the h1 which is this heading right here so it is inside the header tag so let's type header h1 and we'll set the margin of the h1 to 0 and let's set the font size to 100 pixels and let's also change the color of the text so I'll just select the header and here I'll just tap color and let's set it to white. Or let's try gray. Now we need to bring this content to the center. So let's go ahead and uh, let's type display of flex. And uh, let's set the align items to the center. And we also need to set the height to 100 viewport height. And now we can see that the content is in the center. Now we'll also set a max width for the whole content. So let's go ahead and uh, let's add a container division. So let's create a division with a class of container. 
and I'll just cut this ending tag from here and place it all the way after the header and let's go ahead and uh, let's style the container and for the container let's go ahead and set a max width of 1000 pixels and uh, let's set the margin to zero auto so that it is in the center and now we can see that our content is in the center so if I just add a background color over here we can see this is our max width of 1000 pixels and it is in the center right now let's style the subheading so I'll just type header subheading and for the subheading I'll just set the font size to 24 pixels and we'll set the margin to 0 for this as well so here we have the heading and the subheading now let's go ahead and style the cube faces so let's go back and here we can see we have this division with the class of cube face so let's go back and let's type cube container which is the container division so here we have cube container and in that we have cube face and let's set the width and the height to 300 pixels and now if you go back this is how it looks let's also style the text so I'll just type font size and let's set it to 30 pixels and uh, for testing I'll just add a background color and uh, let's set the color of the text to black and let's set the font weight to bold and we need to bring this text to the center of this division so let's type display of flex and align items to the center and justify content to the center right now let's go ahead and add different background colors to all of these faces so let's go back and let's type cube container and in that we have these divisions with classes of front, back, left, right, top and bottom so let's type front and for the front let's add a background color of E63946 and now let's go back and uh, right now we cannot see it so let's zoom out a little bit and now we can see for this front face we have a background color of red let's go ahead and add different background colors to all these faces so I'll just copy this and uh, paste it down here and here I'll just type back and for the back we need to have a different color so let's type 06D6A0 right now let's go back and paste it over here and let's type left and for this one let's go ahead and type 023047 and since this is a dark color let's also change the color of the text to white right let's go back and paste it down here and here let's type right and for the right side we need to have 3d348b and for this also let's set a white text color and then we have top so let's go ahead and paste it over here and here let's type top and for the top let's give it a color of a8DADC and let's paste it over here and let's type bottom and for the bottom let's give it a color of FFD166 right now let's go ahead and add the 3D effect so let's go back and for the cube container let's add some styles so we haven't referenced that over here so here I just type cube container and we need to set the perspective to 1000 pixels you can experiment with this value and now we need to select the cube so it is inside the cube container so let's type cube container cube and for this also we'll set the width and the height to 300 pixels and here we need to type transform style and we need to set it to preserve 3d let me just reset the zooming right now if you go ahead and add some transform to these uh, divisions it will have the 3d effect so let's go back now here for the front face I just type transform translate Z and I just set it to 150 pixels so now this is the front face now let's go ahead and style the left so for the left let's type transform and here we need to add a rotation as well so let's type rotate Y and for the angle let's set it to negative 90 degrees and translate Z and let's set it to 150 pixels and now if we scroll down here we can see we have this left division over here and uh, this is how it looks right now 
So let's go ahead and set the position of all the cube face to absolute. So let's go back and uh, for the cube face, let's go ahead and type position and let's set it to absolute. Now if you go back to our design, here we can see this is how it looks right now. Let's right click over here and click on inspect. And here if we inspect this, here we can see this is the front division. And if you take a look at the left division, this is how it looks. So we can see that it looks like a cube. We cannot see it from the front right now. So let's add the styling for the other cubes as well. So let's go back. And for the back, we need to rotate it uh, 180 degrees. So let's type transform, rotate, Y, and uh, let's set it to 180 degrees. And let's type translate Z. And for this also, let's type 150 pixels. Now, if you take a look at this, we can see that 150 pixels is being added for all these translate Z. And for the width and height, we have 300 pixels. So we have the same values over here as well. So what we can do is we can create a variable over here and we can just reuse the variable. So let's tap colon root. And here I'll just create a variable called cube width. And let's set it to 300 pixels. And uh, let's type translate Z. And I'll just set it to 150 pixels. So this translate Z should always be half than the cube width. So now we can go ahead and change these values and it will be changed in all these places. So I'll just replace all of these with the variables. So I'll just delete all of these 300 pixels from here and just press command D to select all of these. And let's type var hyphen hyphen cube width and let's select all these 150 pixels values from here. And let's type var translate Z. Now let's style the right division. So here let's type transform and let's type rotate Y and let's set it to 90 degrees and let's type translate Z and let's type var translate Z and then we have top and bottom. So I'll just copy this line of code and let's paste it over here and here instead of rotate Y we need to type rotate X because uh, these are horizontal and then lastly we have bottom. So I'll just paste it over here and change this to rotate X and this to negative 90 degrees right now let's go back to our design and if i right click over here and go to inspect and if we take a look at all these divisions here we can see this is the front face then we have the back and then we have the left we have the right we have the top and we have the bottom so all the faces of the cube are aligned perfectly now in the next video i'll show you how to rotate this cube when we move the mouse pointer so that's it for this video. If you have any doubts, you can ask in the comments below. And if you like this video, please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a nice day.